sense. I cannot say that, that word, man. Good. I cannot say that word. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not, impossible. Not, not as much in the Spanish language. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. I cannot say that. Nice, guys. Should so I uh, test the sound real quick? Make sure yes. you guys can hear it. Yeah, yeah let's, let's do that. Let's do that real quick. Here we go. Yeah. Thumbs up. We all hear this. Beautiful. Excellent. All oh, right. that makes me want to have a beer, man. <laughs> well, nothing's stopping you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will. All right. Perfect. Let me pass it, pass it to you. You are in the spotlight now. Let me mute everybody and then we will be ready to start. All right. Sounds good. Oh, everyone is muted already. Perfect. Nice. All right. All yours, Ben. All right. Hi, everybody. Um, thank you guys so much for joining today. My name is Ben. For anyone who doesn't know me, I dance in San Francisco with SMU and Contemporary Ballet. And what I want to offer you guys right out the gate is that this contemporary class is open to a variety of levels. So whatever your level is, know that you can make modifications to this as you need. Make sure that it suits you. It's also appropriate within whatever dance space you have to modify to fit that. So please feel free to modify as you need to stay safe for your own body. Um, and I really just want to invite you guys to have some fun with it and start off our Monday on a high note. So. I'm going to put on some music. We're just going to follow along. We'll do a little bit of moving the head around, circling that. We'll move our shoulders. And then after that, we're going to do a little breath work with some plie where we breathe up, lifting the arms high. Then we'll drop down and then we'll carve to one side and bring it back. And we'll do that same sequence just a couple times trading sides. So we breathe up, drop, carve. And then after the third one, we'll bend forward and roll up before we do that again, yeah? So this is just a lot of breath to feel the rebound in those legs carving through the spine on each side. Follow along, let's go ahead and get this a go. Also, my timing with my voice, as you guys probably have experienced with Zoom classes, might not be in sync with the music, so go with the music you hear more so than the timing of my voice if they're off. All right, here we go, you guys. All right, just start moving a little bit. Feel the music kind of coming into your space. And we're going to start with the head nodding down and back. Head goes. Nice and long through those shoulders and circle one way. Nice and relaxed shoulder blades. Circle the head the other way. Repeat all that, head down and back. Good, now circle the head. You can add the shoulders a little bit, circle the other way. Let's roll the shoulders back, roll back. Try to make sure your knees are nice and soft in this moment. Alternate, and one. A little rebound in those knees side to side. Roll forward and front. Waking up that shoulder blade. Alternate, moving side to side. Good. All right, now we're gonna breathe and lift those arms up. We have, and up. Carve to one side and bring it back. Other way. See if you can transfer your weight from one foot to the other. Bend forward. Repeat, other way. Adding a little bit more bounce to each one. Good, you guys. Let's repeat this again two more times. Here we go. Try to coordinate your breath. So as you lift those arms, you breathe in, bend forward. Last time, arms up and breathe.
Good, everybody. Stretch front. Now let's stay down here. Hands are on the ground. Gentle bend in those knees and straighten up. Let's go ahead and walk our hands over to the right leg, parallel feet facing that right direction. Pull the right hip back, left hip forward. Let's go ahead and reach that right arm up, twist. I'm gonna pause the music really quick. Stay there, stretching. And let's walk our hands across to the opposite side. So we're stretching towards the left. Just feeling the stretch there. Pull that left hip back, right hip forward. Now reach the left arm up tall towards the ceiling. Feel that twist through the spine. Stretch feels so good to start the week on a Monday. Let's walk back to the middle, bend the knees and roll up slow through the back. All right, good you guys, nice. Let's go ahead and move on to some plies and tendus, yeah? So we're gonna start, let me make sure you guys can actually see what my legs are doing. Right, we're gonna start in our second position, feet just a little bit wider than those hips, standing nice and tall through the back of the spine. We're gonna demi plie it down one, up two, plie with contract, three, open four, carve the body to one side, five, Bend through the middle six, over the other side seven, coming up eight. Repeat that the other way. Demi plie, come up, carve through the spine, and open. Bend the other direction, roll forward to the side, up to our first position. Repeat that in first. Demi, we're going to carve through the spine to open. Side, forward, side, and up. Other way with our two demis over around from here that's part a so we all feel good about tendus or plies part a all right from there we're going to move on part b is going to be our tendus our pattern starting with the right with whichever foot this translates to you on your screen tendu front in for two two are faster other leg to the back slow out slow in two faster now we're going to go to the side with the first leg, bring it in, two faster. Then we're going to take a porter bra side away from the leg, tonglié through, porter bra, and we're going to come up and do the left side, or our second side. Slow tendu, two counts, faster, faster. Other leg back, other leg side, bend, tonglié, round to our fifth. Let's repeat the same thing in fifth. Now advancing to dégagés, a little bit faster. Out, two, in, two, three, dégagés, front. Other leg back, and in, three, dégagés, back, side, and in, three, dégagés, side, same, tonglié, transfer, around, other side. Okay, that was a lot of explaining combo so that we can rifle through it with the music, yeah? So we have our plies with our contraction, bending over and around. After we do our plies, that so start in second and then go to first, we do our tendus, slow front, two quicker, other leg back, side, tonglié. And then after we do those, we do our dégagés, making it a little bit more challenging for ourselves. Yeah? Again, modify what you need. Let's just use this to wake up our bodies, get connected to the floor, and get our breath moving. All right, here we go, you guys. We're going to start in our second position. Demi plies. Here we go. And I don't want to fall asleep. I don't want to pass. Contract forward. Thinking of our future because I'll never see the Carve the side. Reach. Good, you guys. Again. Contract through. When I leave this earth, hoping you'll find something. Carve the opposite direction. Really reach the side of your body super long into our first. One. Contract, lift those abs up. Good. Maintain those abdominals while you're carving through the space. Demi. And through. 
Very nice, everybody. Good. Moving into our tondus. One slow, two quicker. Slow. Two faster. Other leg back. Standing tall on that supporting side. To the side. Try to release those shoulder blades down just a little bit more. Good adjustments. Yes. Tong Lie. Second side. Here we go. Reaching. Make sure you're brushing the floor like a paintbrush. Yes, beautiful, you guys. Very nice. To the side. Think about rotating those arms a little bit more from the back, lifting it up and forward. Reach. Transfer. Same thing, fifth position with dégagés. We have a slow. Three dégagés. In. Really sharp feet on these dégagés. Change the texture from what we just did. To the side. Three. Yes, you guys. Now reach even bigger. Tommy A beyond your foot. Exactly. Second side. And back. Good, you guys. Three. Last one, big reach with the fading music all the way across and finish. Good, you guys, nice. All right, let me tell you what's next. All right, how are you guys feeling? We feel like our body's starting to wake up a little bit. Yeah, okay, good. We're gonna try to move a little bit quicker now to really wake up our cardiovascular system. So we're gonna start with our legs together. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna to open to one side. We're gonna release those arms up to our ceiling. Whatever lights you have up there, I hope they look pretty. Carve the other side in. So this contraction shape, you guys, make sure that as we go into this contraction, we're pulling those elbows forward and we're lifting the uppermost abdominals up into our rib cage, yeah? So we feel that pull from the elbows to the ribs, creating negative space. Yes, exactly. Drop the energy down into your knees while you do that so that it pulls the energy down and grounded through. Yes, lovely, everybody. So we have open, we contract, we go the other way, contract, we open, contract, then we open and we stay tandu side. From here, we're going to ronde jambe front with fondue, ronde jambe to the back, ronde jambe to the back. Now, two through our first and we'll finish right there. Then we do the other side. We open, contract, open, contract, open, contract, open to tendu, fondu, rond to the back, fondu to the back, two, around, finish there. We'll do this whole thing, right, left, right, left, or whatever that means to you on your screen if I'm mirrored. Um, from there, we're gonna do some fondues, yeah? So part B for this song, we're gonna start in our first. We're gonna take fondue down for two and front, close it in. Fondue other leg to the back. Now we're gonna do two faster to the side. Plie coupe change, other way. Fondue to the front and in. Down for two, out seven, eight, one and two, three, four, five, coupe and change. I just did a very big lift my hip on that. Don't do that. <laughs> that coupe, really keep your supporting leg and your active leg hips even as you lift up to find that balance, yeah? Okay, we'll then repeat that again, right and left, and your coupe can actually now come up to a passe for both of those on the repeat. Is this making sense? I know it's a lot of verbal info so that I don't have to talk as much during combo. We start with our big open contractions into our ronde jambes. After the ronde jambes, we do the whole fondue exercise side from there. I'll do it with you. Let's keep those bodies moving.
Here we go, you guys. All right, we're gonna start with that opening to our first side. Think about lifting the sternum and dropping our centers down. Here we go. And last one comes up to our tandu. Ranjans. Strong on that supporting side. Good. Other way. Feel those abdominals contract. Leave the leg out. Good, everybody. Yes. Repeat that again. And open. Open. We go through those elbows. Now drop down and up on these Ronda Johns. Yes, good. Other way. See how far down you can drop in these contractions. Beautiful. Two runs. And getting ready, fondue. We have two counts down, front, and in. Other leg back. Two faster to the side. Let's coupe change. Other way. Again, you can modify anything you need. Too fast to the side. Try to coordinate those legs together. Repeat a little bit higher this time. Nice, everybody. Passe to change this one. Good. Coordinate those arms with the legs. Nice. Let's go ahead and grab that right leg, foot and hands. We're going to stretch our quad just a little bit. Nice, you guys. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Anybody else? Thumbs up. Probably depends on wherever you guys are in the country or in the world. All right, here we go. One sec. Yeah, San Francisco is very warm and I have a big window next to me that's bringing all that heat in, which I love, but it's getting me warm a little bit faster. Um, oh, Miami, someone's here from Miami? Heck yeah. Hi, Samantha. Nice. So actually it's probably much warmer where you are than where I am in California. <laughs> all right. So you guys, we're gonna, oh wow, 84, I'm jealous. Um, so we're gonna move on a little bit to uh, just kind of keep getting that cardio going. Um, we're gonna start, how does this one start? Leg swings. So we're gonna start swinging that right leg. Let's swing it in a triplet form, going one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. We'll do that twice as long as I just said finish. Other side, leg swings. Start off nice and low with this, you guys. Just feel the calm center of your supporting hip. I know it's hard when we're not in a real ballet studio or a dance studio where we have a bar we can hold on to, but so what you want to really think about right now is how are you composing those lower abdominals over your supporting side so you have freedom in the active hip without jeopardizing your stability, yeah? So think about those abs a little bit. The other thing you can think about, the muscles on the side of your body, if you wrap them forward just a little bit, yeah? Wrap them forward knowing that your abs are staying over that supporting side, it helps to create a circle of energy that can be very stabilizing when we don't have the same supports we're used to, yeah? So think about bringing that side forward, it'll engage the muscles through your back that keep us centered over that leg. The last thing I'll offer as far as keeping balance in this moment, a lot of us tend to tighten our feet on the floor. Try to release your toes a little bit more. Um, I was a total animal nerd when I was in high school and studied like tigers and pumas and all that kind of stuff because I was obsessed with big cats. And whenever they were in the jungle or in the plains, they had very nice supple paws. And so if you think about your foot as a dancer, 
needs to be supple in its connection to the floor, allowing you to shift your weight and find your control and your power through that. That can be a godsend in contemporary movement, yeah. So keep that supporting leg strong, but keep that foot malleable to be able to adapt if your weight changes. Okay, I've been talking too much. We're gonna do leg swings. We're gonna do leg swings. We're gonna do jumping jacks, because why not? We're gonna do um, feet to seat, where we kick our heels up to the back. Then we're gonna do high knees to the front. Then we're gonna do jumping jacks again. High feet, high knees. Yeah, we got it? All right, starting with those leg swings. All your smiles are totally making my day, so thank you for being here. All right, starting with our leg swings. First leg, here we go. And swing to Remember nice and strong on that supporting side. Relax through the foot and allow your back to rotate forward on both sides equally. Yes, second side. Starting nice and low and then building it up a little taller on each one. Good, everybody. All right, jumping jacks. Here we go. Nice and easy through those ankles. All right, high feet. Here we go. Feet to the butt. Good, you guys. Now high knees, knees up. And we're going right back to jumping jacks. Here we go. This is about as close as we get to doing Allegro from home. Halfway. All right, feet up. Here we go. You're doing great, you guys. Almost there. High knees. Yes, good, you guys, shake it out. All right, let's stretch those calves a little bit. Step that right foot back, or whichever side you want. Think about a long back leg, and feel long through the spine, pushing away from it, one big diagonal. And let's bend the knee and sit back in those hips. Stretch nice and deep, trade sides, other leg back. Transfer the weight. And come up. Good, everybody. Nice. All right. Okay. You guys feel warm? Yeah? Okay. Let's take a quick minute, grab some water, and then we'll do some contemporary choreography for the rest of the class. All right, really good warm up, everybody. Oh my gosh, did I just see a little Aussie? I totally did. She's just not in her room right now. Is that Leonese over here? Was that a little Aussie I just saw? Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. I love those. They're so cute. Yeah, she's just a baby. Mm. Super precious and so much fun. I love it. I think that's one of my favorite things, as it is for many of us, like the pets that invade our space. I have a little cat that you'll probably see wander through this room a lot while I'm teaching. His name is Apollo. Uh, but he will make his presence known whenever he chooses. So, all right, you guys ready to do some choreography? Yeah? All right, so my thought for today, um, 
I have been really lucky and I've gotten to do some choreography out here in San Francisco. And actually I was recently in Miami. Um, where was it? Who was from Miami? I guess Samantha. I was actually just in Miami doing a piece before all this stuff happened. Um, but so one of the dances I did is called Cooties and it's inspired by that little childhood game, like circle, circle, dot, dot. Now you have your cootie shot. Do it. Is this still relevant nowadays? I'm like, no, <laughs> Amelia is looking at me like, no, we don't, we don't say that anymore. Um, so when I was a kid, that was a game. And the idea behind it is like boys and girls have cooties and no one wants to get cooties. So I tried to make an adult dance around that theme. So I'm going to teach you guys the opening phrase that is being adjusted given physical situations. And we'll work with that. So this step is going to start off. We're going to start with our feet together. First thing that's going to happen, we're going to open one arm up to the side. I'm not going to say right or left today because I know that you guys might be mirroring me or I might look the right way. So I don't want to confuse people. So whichever side you do is right. So we're going to open one arm to the side from there. Second step, we're going to drop that arm down and pull the opposite arm up our side. So we have a strong elbow and we're going to look up to it this way. Yeah. So we have arm elbow from there drop that arm down and you're going to push that hand to the side so that we have our hip out and then we're going to hip out on the other side yeah so that's like the fingertips are leading side to side we all probably could just do this step for a quick second to feel that coordination so that from here fingertips lead out and we sink into that hip curl the fingers in hips go out on the other side yes so this is our step which will be very good if any of us take a Hawaiian vacation soon. But for right now, we're just doing it for a cootie dance. Okay. We only do it twice. So we go arm, elbow, side, side. On the third one, we bring that arm in and we shoot the leg out to our side there. One, two, three, four, five. Hold six. From there, we're going to step on that leg and we're going to do a little turn where we swing the leg wide and we're going to land facing profile. Yeah, I'm uh, dodging this cord right now that we're going to try to avoid. So I'm going to unclip while I show you this. I hope you can hear me. We have arm, arm, down, down, leg, step, big foot to land. Yes. Try to see if you can swing your body with that just a little bit so that as that leg swings for here, I'm gonna really transfer over and my leg is gonna reach long to come back. If you're in a small space, you that leg swing is, your, is just your arm. Maybe you're here and it's just gonna circle to come back, yeah. So if you're gonna kick something, make the path with your arm way where it's safe for you. Make sense? All right, timing for all of this. Our timing will be, we wait for the first two eights of the music. The music goes one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three. We start six, seven, we go one, two, three, four, out, five, six, go seven, eight. Land one. So we'll land there on one, yeah? When we land, we're going to send our arms forward this way, yeah? So when we land, we stop right here, and it's like we're staring at our hands like, oh, my God, did I just get cooties? That's the idea for that moment. One, two, three, four, five, hold six, go seven, eight, one, hold two. From there, I'm going to give you just a little bit more. One, hold two. We're going to chug back on that same leg that we kicked up and around. We're going to chug back around on ourselves to come back to the front. Exactly. Yes. So what you'll see me do is from where my leg goes over to stop here, I'm going to pop up the toe um, on the leg that I'm moving, on the leg that's staying still so that I move around it with the other foot. Yes. Exactly right. Good. So how many chugs is that, you might be asking? One, two, go three, four, leg, five, six, go, seven, eight, one, hold, two, go, three, four, five. Yeah? 
This making sense so far? Okay. I'm going to put on the music really quickly just to make sure that um, the tempo I'm about to give you is accurate. So I'm going to test the music and then we'll make sure we get it up to speed. All right. Here we go. Music testing. Okay, we could all hear that okay? Yeah? So our, the tempo is one, two, three, four at that speed. So let's bring this combo up to that tempo, yeah? Here we go. From the top, talking through it with my numbers, we have five, six, seven, eight, one, two, go three, four, and five, six, go seven, eight, land one, hold two, go three, four, five, hold six. Yes, good. Same thing, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, go one, two, go three, four, out, five, hold six, seven, eight, one, hold two, go three, four, stop, five, six. Yes, nice. Once more, a little bit faster. Five and six. Two, three, four, five, hold six, seven, eight, land one, hold two, back, back, hold. Yes, excellent, you guys. All right. I want to give you just a little bit more before we do this with music. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, hold six, hold seven. From there on eight, we're going to pop our feet to the side. So right now we have one heel is up, the other heel is down. We're in this position. We're going to catch ourselves over and then drop back down. Yes, so it's like you're tilted, come back. I almost tilted too far because I almost fell. But we're here, arms come up the side, drop back down, make a catch. So that's A1. Good. All right, that's the last little tag I want to give you. Let's count this from the top with music or with my voice, and then we'll do music. Here we go. Five from the top. Five, six, seven, eight, go one, two, arm three. Four out, five, six, kick, seven, eight, land, one, hold, two, back, three, four, hold, five, six, seven, A, one. Yes, you guys, nice. Feel like you're almost holding your breath in that moment. <gasps> Stop. Yeah? Yes, that was great, Alice. It's very, very nice uh, iPhone to Daniela. Sorry, my pronunciation was terrible on that, but very nice. All right. Once more, my voice from the top, five and six. Five, six, seven, eight, we go one, two, go three, four, five, hold six, seven, eight, one, back three, four, hold five, six, seven, A, one. Yes, nice, you guys, good, excellent. We ready for some music? Yeah, it is way more fun with a music accompaniment rather than my voice. So let's give it a go. Remember, you have two counts of eight for an intro, and then we're going to go. All right, from the top. Here we go. Yes, nice, you guys. Let's get ready one more time from the top. Here we go. And. Excellent to you guys. All right, shake it out for a second. We're going to do this once more before we talk. Get ready. All right, here we go. And. Nice. Yes, everybody. Okay, this making sense so far? Yeah? So as we start to go through this, we're gonna add on more now. As we start adding on, continue to add character to this. So think about the, the theme that we were talking about, where it's like 
oh my gosh, did I get cooties on my hands? And then when you're backing up, it's like, no, 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 no cooties. We can think about cooties like COVID in this current situation, yeah? Like, you don't want to get sick. You don't want to get that. So we back up. And then this moment is like, ah, no. Yeah? Adding that character is awesome. I invite you to do that with any dance you do. Let's add some more steps. So we have one, two, three, four, and five, six, go seven, eight, one, hold two, back three, four, five, hold six, seven, eight, one, hold two. From here, we're gonna circle one arm open. Think of it like the fingertips are reaching wide. From here, we're gonna scoop both arms forward. So we're reaching fingertips forward to curve them back. Now they're gonna come over the top and we're gonna grab our foot to the front here and we're gonna release out of that. Yes. Eight, one, hold two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, that's a hard moment to balance. So what you wanna think about in that moment we have this big sweep. We're now on our, on our, on whatever this leg is for you. Yeah, reach big onto that leg. Arms are forward. They're gonna pull us back in this moment, and then as we pick up the foot, we're already balanced on this bottom leg. Yes. From here, if you guys remember the contraction we did in the warm up, pulling those abs in forward with the body, let your contraction weight you back while those arms pulling forward are connected to that leg, yeah? That'll help with the balance in that moment. Exactly right, Alex, good. So, one, hold two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From here, we release. Then we're going to do a little pot de beret under to face your front. And now this turn is at your discretion based on your surroundings, yeah? In the choreography, it was a double jazz pirouette that then burst out of it at the end. So rather than a nice land, we just kind of shake our body to release. Exactly, yes. And the idea is like you're getting rid of all your cooties in that moment. The circle's like, oh no, oh no. And then we throw it away. Yes, great you guys. All right, let me make sure I give you the correct timing on that because I haven't done this dance in a long time. So let me just check that timing and then I'll tell you those numbers. All right. So our timing on all this. Okay, so those numbers that I wasn't confidently able to give you before are going to be eight, one, hold two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold eight. We release one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna turn six, seven, eight, release one. Yeah? So if your turn is ending a little bit sooner than the one, that is a-okay. What you can do is you can always turn and then you can put those feet down like you're doing a tightrope and then release out of there, yeah? So you're always welcome. Sorry, I'm turning around a cord, which is why I can't give you guys a real full turn at the moment. But release one, two, put away under three, four, five, turn six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and five. When you release the first one, you're nice and wide. You hold three, four, and that's kind of like breathing, catching your breath. And then on five, you shake it off again and close your legs together. Yes, exactly. It's that moment of like, where to, where to go? Whoa, there it is. Yeah, nice. Alice, that was great characterization. Love it. All right, so let's talk through this from the top. We have five, six, seven, eight, one, two, go three, four, leg five, six, leg seven, eight, land one, hold two, back three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Good, you guys. Good. All right. Let me talk those arm paths for you one more time because I think that might be a moment we could clarify. And then we'll give that another go. So we just went up and we catch down. So from here, I'm going to pull my first arm across my body and I'm going to reach it forward and wide. So now in this position, I have two wide arms by my side and I'm going to drop them down at the same time now. So those fingertips pull up and pull me back. And now that I'm on that back leg, I'm going to pick up that front leg and catch it there. Yes. If you cannot quite reach that leg, no stress, you could pick it up to the knee instead. Yeah. So that's another variation for you from here. Hand scoop, we lift up and we grab the knee. And then from there, we can burst down to three, four, five. Pirouette is at your discretion given your training level and where you are physically in space. Yeah, so make smart choices for you, but it looks like we're all doing good things. All right, let's count this whole thing from the top. Here we go. And five, six, five, six, seven, eight, go one, two, three, four, leg five, six, kick, seven, eight, land one, hold two, back three, four, five, hold six, seven, a one, go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, break one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, wake one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Yes, good, everybody. This making sense? Yeah, let's do this once more with my counts to make sure we feel solid with that timing. Then we'll do it with some music, okay? Here we go. Five and six, five, six, seven, eight, go one, two, three, four, and five, hold six, seven, eight, land one, two, back three, four, five, six, seven, catch, drop, two, go three, four, five, six, seven, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, land one, two, three, four, and five. Yes, excellent. You guys are really letting it go on those shakes. That's awesome, yeah? Okay, we feel like we're ready for some music. It looks like we're very ready, okay. Here we go, you guys. And. Oh, we lost you, Ben. Let's see if we can bring him back. Sorry, guys, one second. Oh, there we go. Are we back? Yes, you're back. Nice. Just Yay, COVID technology. I, I, I was Thank about you guys to, for your patience. I was about to dance, man. I'm like, damn, I don't, I don't know the choreography. Come on, Diego. <laughs> Put that beer down. Let's go. <laughs> All right. You're good now. All right. Awesome. Let's give this another go, you guys. Thank you for your patience. I know, I know Wi-Fi is really catchy, especially in San Francisco, but during this whole thing. So here we go. All right. From the top. And big leg, catch slam. Yes, good, you guys. Break. Yes, nice. Excellent. Good. All right, we're going to do this a couple more times, but let's talk really quick. Really good, you guys. So. Now that we're starting to get into this a little bit more, let's figure out where we can ground our body. So this very first thing, we're arm up on these next moments. How much can you drop down in those knees? Yeah. The more you drop down in that moment, it allows you to actually sway your hips and knees further to the side. So if I'm saying tall and I try to move to the side, that's as far as I can go. As soon as I drop down, you guys see how much more extreme that angle is. It gives you a lot more to show your audience, yeah? So up, hit, really drop down, down, and now stay down for that leg, yeah? So we stay down here, good. Now I'm gonna leave my weight over here when I send my leg over, so it's pulling me back, yeah? So you can try leaving your weight there for that landing, which is great. And then when we get to this position, 
think of yourself like one of those very animated cartoon characters with a with a huge contraction in that back. Yes, that was excellent. So we contract there and now hold that position so that it's just your leg is pushing you around. Push, push through that. Yes. And when you get to the end, now this is the moment of risk. What I'm seeing a little bit, and again, be safe for what you need, but there's something really exciting if this leg is past your body and then comes back versus staying there and coming back. Yeah. So if you can really move it to then come back over, it's going to, yes, that was great. What you can do also send energy in the arm that you're going to. So from here, I'm sending energy into this arm when I catch that leg and that arm actually holds me up a little bit. Yes, that was great, Adrian. Very nice. So we're up, we land. Now when we get here, again, drop the weight down in this moment. Big path with those arms. Even if I'm not doing my arms, that pathway, my legs have a big shift like that, yeah? So the arms are extending beyond where those legs will go. Yes, that's so much better, you guys, good. Nice, Hannah, that's exactly right. Good, Samantha, okay. Let's go ahead and do this again from the top with music. I'll reset the music and we'll do it a third time, all right? Here we go, from the top. Here we go. And. Yes, much better. Nice, Alex, yes. Yes, great. Good, you guys. All right, I'm gonna reset the music. Let's get it one more time. I wanna just watch a couple more of you. All right, one more time through, here we go. Nice, you guys, good. Staying nice and low on those legs. Excellent, nice, Sydney. Yes, good. Awesome, you guys, really good. All right, we're gonna do just a little bit more of this combo, but something I wanna offer to you guys um, real quick before we add on is now that we're getting nice and solid through that turn for the release, you guys don't need to see my lighting set up. We can get that blinding thing out of your face. Okay, so turn, turn, release. This is where what I wanna say is dance is all about texture, yeah? whether it's ballet, whether it's hip hop, contemporary, the texture that you bring to your, is, to your performance is what stands you out differently from somebody else on stage. If you watch someone like, think of a prima ballerina like Marianela Nunez or like Jennifer Stahl at San Francisco Ballet, if you think about these professional ballerinas, it's not that they're doing the steps, it's that they're adding an intention behind it that gives it a character, it gives it a textured nuance that makes it compelling. It's like you can't look away because it's so beautiful, right? So how do we do that with this moment? Not that this is a beautiful moment, but turn, turn, release. What you have right there, you have these turns that break out in this dynamic explosion, right? What if right after that explosion, the next moment is almost a little bit softer. And then from there, something else like catches and pulls you over. So there's a ripple effect that stutters in the midst of, yes, that was great. Who was that, Sydney? That was awesome. Yeah, so like play with the texture difference there. Turn, turn, break, soften, ripples, comes back. Yes, that's great, you guys. Okay, very nice. Let's add on a little bit more choreography now. Really good adjustments right there, everybody. Okay, I gotta go back to my, my view. Okay, so. We just did six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. On seven, eight, we're gonna breathe in and we're gonna let it actually show in our sternum. Yeah, so that's and five, six, breathe in. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four are gonna be little knee, 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 knee. 
This is just like from below the ribs, side, 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 shaking those legs. Exactly. Boom, 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 boom. Do the same first arm, side, up, down, down. Yeah? From here, we're going to do a new pattern. So we had our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The hands from here are going to sweep behind our body to come forward and create a circle. Yes. Da, 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 da. Sweep to come forward. From there, we're going to flex one foot and twist it across. And we're going to step it to the side. We're going to transfer onto it. We're going to flex the other foot across. We're going to step aside. And now we're going to stay on that heel and we're going to reach with a coupe back so our arms reach to that side to fall back down. That's hard to show while I'm trying to stay in screen down here. So we just did one, two, three, four. This is five, six, seven, eight. It's one, two, go three, four, five, six, seven, eight to step back. Yes. Those arms again. Ba, ba, da, da. Back to come forward. Bring one arm, one foot back. You bring the arms in the same direction as that leg. It goes back, goes with the leg. Now it's the other leg. Stays with it, stays with it. And now keep your hips over here while you send the energy that way. Exactly. Good. I'm going to give you just a little bit more. That was stunning, Amelia. Very nice job. Yeah? Okay. So we have turn one, one, two, three, four, and five, six. Breathe seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to step down. I got to unclip for this little moment. I hope you all can still hear me. So now we're here. We just did that reach to step. We're going to step back on ourselves, lunge on that leg, and then we're going to slide to the side from there. Yes. Can you guys all hear me right now with my microphone over there? Amazing. Love that. Okay. So we just did ba, 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 five, six, seven, eight. We go one, two, go three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, go. Three, four, slide. Five, six, seven, eight. Make sense? Yeah. Let's talk this whole thing from the beginning. Yeah. From the very top. Five and six. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, like five, six, go. Seven, eight. One, hold two, go. Three, four. Five, hold six, seven, eight, one, two, go three, four, five, six, seven, hold eight, break one, two, three, four, five, turn six, seven, eight, break one, two, three, four, and five, six, three, seven, eight, rock one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, go three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Okay. You guys all seem to be very intelligent dancers because you guys all look like you have it already. Is that, do we all feel good? Yeah, awesome job, you guys. Picking things up from a little tiny screen on your device or your computer, whatever you're working with, is not an easy feat. So congrats to our generation for figuring it out. All right, let's go ahead, put this music on, and we're going to give it a go. Here we go, y'all. All right, from the top, and leg, step. Breathe. Good, everybody. All right. Let's get ready. We're going to let the music kind of reset, and then we're going to do this one more time, yeah? All 
right, you guys, once again from the top. Here we go. And left. Everybody, nice. All right, let's talk for a quick second. You guys, excellent work. Um, the moment that I think is getting some of us right now is that it picks up tempo when we get to that whole arm thing, yeah? So that's the moment to start preparing ourselves for mentally in that moment. What we want to think about, we just had our breath, da, 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 da. scoop down stay down in your body right here yeah scoop down now when you stay down we just go shift so it's just the arms and leg go to the side now if you stay low here transfer your weight on it the pathway is going to be easiest if you can transfer through a bent knee rather than going up and over on a straight one so side we're here rather than going up and over try to bend it right away to get to the other side. Yes, that's right. Here, out, go through it, cross it back through it. Now let this reach just be a quick one to step back. I'm gonna unclip again. Quick one, step back, turn that opposite shoulder back on yourself. You can use that arm to build momentum. And then what you wanna do is you wanna reach this leg wide and drop underneath the bar. Yeah, so it's like a wide leg, and then you're passing underneath something to get back to the center. Exactly. Um, that was Sydney. What you can try to do a little bit more of, and this a little bit for Desmian as well, um, try to feel that from wherever this gathers together, transfer across to another leg. What I saw happen this time, that from here, you replaced your leg just a little bit more. If you have room, Try to think that your weight is going to actually push to the opposite side just a little bit more. Yes. Excuse me. There we go. Excellent. Could you go over the part again? Um, yes. This part, the with the switching and then the. Oh yeah. Yes, my pleasure, Brooke. Thank you. Um, of course. Let me see. Can you uh, can you hear me if I'm clipped in down here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got. Excellent. Great. Okay. So for this moment, um, we just did five, six, seven, eight. You're going to swipe two hands behind your back to bring them forward. That's our circle. So that's one, two, three. We're going to pull one leg behind us, cross it over, and we keep our arms in this circle the whole time. So we're here. Three, out, four, transfer five, cross six, out, seven, reach eight. So the words I would use for that little phrase are from seven, eight, I'd go swipe down, cross, open, transfer, cross, open, reach. Yeah. Swipe down, cross, open, transfer, cross, open, reach. Should have a little bit of a pendulum kind of feel. Let's do that one more time. This is five, six, seven, eight, one. Two, go three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, that looked exactly right, Brooke. Yeah, does that feel better? Nice, good. And for those of you who are getting this now, the more you stay dropped for all of that, and then the more that reaches, you can, if you're on a permitting floor, slide a little bit to then come back in that moment, yeah? Okay. Looks like we are just about at the end of our class time. So I think let's go ahead and do this like three times total with the music, just so we can do it once to get comfy. Second one for me to give you feedback. And then third one, celebration. Do we have time for that, Diego? Of course, man. We have a lot of time for you, man, always. Oh, that's why you're the best. Okay, so we're gonna do this three times from the top, you guys. First time just for you to get comfy. 
and then we'll build it the next two. Here we go. All right, from the top. Here we go. this one more time. Think about whatever moment you felt the most confident in and make that moment even bigger this time. Yeah. Okay. Round two, I'm going to watch you guys this time so I can give you a little bit more feedback before round three. Here we go. Round two. Here we go. Good, stay down. Nice. Tall through the turn and release. Texture change. Yes. Big reach. Yes, nice. Excellent, you guys. That was beautiful. Really nice, Kristen. You guys, that was awesome. Okay, now that whole first half of it is great. It's very dancey. When we get to the second half, there are moments where I can tell we're still thinking about it technically. This makes sense because we literally just learned it. So when you get to the end of that pirouette, these next moments, this is your like, oh yeah, I'm okay. That's your moment to feel like I got rid of them. I'm good. And so let that step just feel good in your body, yeah? feels really good. And then you're like, I can do this step all day. This moment is like, think of if you hear a mosquito flying around your head and you don't know where it is. It's like you're searching for that mosquito. Wait, what is that? Where did that come from? Yeah. So allow that feeling to kick in a little bit more. And then the big sweep and the big reach is like when you're just batting through the air, trying to get whatever that thing is away from you. This is a big like, no, nope, don't want it. Yeah? All right. Other than that, just have fun. <laughs> so really nice, you guys. The more you can drop down, that uh, for contemporary, I believe, is always a good thing to send your energy down to the floor. It gives you power. Yeah? You can't really gather too much energy, but you can build it from the ground up. Okay, here we go, you guys. Once more from the top, last time. And. Here we go. Exactly. Nice and low. Reach. Good. Big path with those arms. Explode. Yes, good, Samantha. Nice, staying low. Yes, excellent. Good, you guys. <laughs> I love the shake out at the end, Yasmin. Perfect. All right, let me stop this music. You guys, awesome, awesome work today. Thank you so much for being here for this class. This has really started my week off on a great note, so thank you.